The Mogao Caves near Dongfang in western Gansu province boasts the world's largest and best preserved treasure trove of Buddhist art, known as the Pearl of Oriental Art. In 1962, archaeologist Fan Jin Shu visited the caves for the first time as a Peking University undergraduate. <laughs> For Fan Jin Shi, who grew up in Shanghai, a moment of excitement was too fragile to support her in staying in this desert. Salty water, oil lamps, mud shacks, earthen beds, and swirling sands. Life was extremely harsh there. But Fan secretly withheld the letter. She insisted on staying because of the artistic treasures inside the caves and her dream of studying national cultural heritage. In 1974, Fan Jinshu joined the Communist Party of China, becoming even more determined to protect national cultural heritage. The Mogao Caves were officially opened to tourists in 1979, whereupon the murals and artifacts began to decay, were damaged, or even disappeared. Faced with the incompatibility of conservation and tourism, Fan knew that a compromise had to be found. In the late 1980s, Fan came up with the idea of digitizing Dunhuang for the purpose of permanently preserving the murals, painted sculptures, and historical data. In 2016, Digital Dunhuang was formally launched online, enabling people around the world to enjoy clear panoramic images of the caves. Now the honorary director of Dunhuang Academy, 84-year-old Fan Jin Shi is as busy as ever, still toiling to conserve and manage the caves. Fan Jin Shi has melded her mission, her generation shouldered for the nation, and the spirit of a qualified Communist Party member to sustain her lifetime in the desert. Let this be my epitaph, she says. I've done all I could for Dong Huang.